Sony has officially discontinued the A9 Mark II, which is now delisted from most Japanese online camera stores, including the Sony Japan official online store. This change will soon be reflected worldwide as the remaining stock depletes. The A9 Mark II, released in 2019, was renowned for its high-speed capabilities, driven by the BIONZX image processor. As the camera world advances, its successor, the A9 III, introduced at the end of 2023, is stepping into the spotlight with a fully global shutter sensor. This innovation might be the future of photography, despite the A9 III's less impressive low-light performance compared to its predecessor. Why it's discontinued Following the launch of the A9 III, Sony has shifted its focus away from the A9 II. Reports from the Japanese photo blog Asobanet indicate that major Japanese camera retailers have marked the A9 II as discontinued. On top of that, the camera is no longer listed on Sony's official Alpha Camera Body Product page, confirming its phased-out status. Sony's product listings do not solely feature the latest models, so the absence of the A9 II is notable. Older models, like the A7R4 and A7 III, remain listed even after being replaced by newer versions. The A9 series, however, is geared more towards professional photographers, particularly in sports and photojournalism. This targeted market approach might explain Sony's decision to phase out the A9 II, directing resources and attention to the newer, more advanced A9 III. The shift underscores Sony's strategy to focus on advanced technology and professional-grade equipment, ensuring that their latest models provide the most advanced features available to meet the demanding needs of professional photographers. For enthusiasts looking for high-performance cameras at a lower price point, models like the A7R4 A7 III are still appealing. Professionals, on the other hand, might find the investment in the A9 III worthwhile due to its superior speed and autofocus capabilities, especially given its global shutter technology. Why A9 III's global shutter is the future? Introducing the global shutter sensor in the Sony A9 III is a significant leap in camera technology. Traditional sensors with rolling shutters can distort images of fast-moving subjects, a problem that the global shutter effectively eliminates by capturing all pixels simultaneously. This makes the A9 III particularly valuable for sports and action photography, where precise, undistorted images are crucial. Despite the A9 III not matching the low-light performance of the A9 II, its global shutter sensor brings pretty impressive speed. Photographers capturing wildlife and sports in well-lit conditions will benefit greatly from the A9 III's capabilities. The sensor's ability to handle high-speed action without the rolling shutter effect positions it as a top choice for professionals in those fields. The A9 II remains a strong performer and is still available at a reduced price compared to the A9 III. Currently, the A9 II is listed at $4,500, offering a $1,500 saving over the newer model. This price difference makes the A9 II an attractive option for those who want a high-speed camera without the additional cost of the latest technology. The discontinuation of the Sony A9 II signifies the end of a chapter for a camera that has been a staple for many professionals. Yet, the advancement represented by the A9 III, with its impressive global shutter sensor, marks the beginning of a new era in photography. While the A9 II will be missed for its affordability and robust performance, the A9 III offers a glimpse into the future of high-speed photography. For photographers whose work demands the utmost speed and accuracy, the A9 III is a compelling option. Although its low-light performance may not surpass the A9 II, the global shutter's advantages in well-lit conditions make it a worthy successor. As we bid farewell to the A9 II, the focus shifts to the potential of the A9 III. This camera stands to redefine high-speed photography with its innovative technology. For those in the market for a professional-grade camera, the A9 III represents a significant step forward. What do you think about Sony's decision to discontinue the A9 II and the future potential of the A9 III? Share your thoughts in the comments below.